Hi guys, West Country Explorer here, and today I'm in Tisbury Dorset. Gonna have a little mooch around, show you a couple of little bits and pieces. Hope you enjoy, see you after the intro. So on the outskirts of Tisbury, we've got this, the old Tithe Barn. Nowadays it's used as an art gallery. So I think different artists can come here and sort of put their artwork on display, that kind of thing. So I'm not going to be going inside myself because I'm not really interested in going in to see art. But I thought I'd come here and show you the outside. I said there's a couple of bits of artwork, sculptures and that, in this bit of greenery. Pan around. Uh, but the, yeah, the Tithe Barn was originally built, I think, in the 13th century for the abbess of Shaftesbury Abbey. So it was used by Shaftesbury Abbey for like a storage area up until the dissolution. Dissolution. Good old King Henry VIII. He's got a lot to answer for. Now, in terms of floor space, Tisbury Tithe Barn is uh, one of the largest in England. It's not the longest. But it's certainly got the largest floor space. It looks quite impressive from the outside. I do like the look of it. Around the back here, there's a couple of courtyard areas. Here we've got some sculptures. Not, sh not sure what this represents. Well, looks like he's got stuff hanging from his neck. Oh. I don't know, it's like quite a nice, quite a little courtyard. Yeah, so this is the Tithe Barn from the other side. Ooh. There's a farmhouse sort of adjacent to these courtyards and the farmhouse and the Tithe Barn and quite a few of the other buildings are all grade one listed. So, so quite interesting sort of architectural buildings around here. So there you go, one of the one of the biggest tithe barns in England. Uh, just next to the Tide Barn, this is the entrance to the farmhouse that I was telling you about, the Grade 1 listed farmhouse. And that's, a, that's an amazing looking gatehouse. I say Tide Barn just over there. But I tell you something, about bits of architecture like that, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just so interesting looking. Very nice. Right, so here we are at St John the Baptist Church in Tisbury. And what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to take you over here and show you this yew tree. 
Oh, if I come through here. Quite an impressive specimen. And the one thing that immediately struck me as I came in, a bit of concrete being put in the centre of it. But this yew tree here, if I come back out a bit, it's believed to be the second oldest yew tree in Britain. And it's believed to be about 4,000 years old, this tree. So just think about that. This tree here is believed to have seen 4,000 years worth of history. <laughs> I just, it's hard to get your head around, isn't it? A tree that's 4,000 years old. Unbelievable. Right. And there's also something else interesting about this church. Another interesting little fact. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take you round here to show you a couple of gravestones. Oh, quite an interesting church, really. I think I like it. I do have a certain fascination with churches, I will admit. But, so if we'll just bring you around here, guys, down this little path. Here we go. John Kipling and his wife Alice. These are the parents of Rudyard Kipling. Him that wrote Jungle Book and the well-known poem If. Oh, so Rudyard Kipling, the famous author, is the graves of his parents. I think Rudyard Kipling's buried in Poets' Corner up in London, if I remember rightly. But his parents are here, in good old Tisbury. I've just brought you inside the church to give you a quick show round. some rather interesting little features. Some quite nice stained glass windows. I'll bring you over here. Oh. I've never understood the fascination of statues. I mean, they're nice, but I've just never understood the fascination with them. Interesting little beam work up there.
here we are at the bottom of the high street quite busy with cars and all the rest quite a nice little square area it would be nice if there wasn't any cars here. And one thing I do like about this church here, it's surrounded by some really picturesque properties. They are very nice. Quite a nice setting really. Now, one mistake I made earlier on in the video, I think a couple of times I said that Tisbury's in Dorset. It's not actually in Dorset, it's in Wiltshire. So I live in a part of the country where I'm very close to some county borders and on the odd occasion, I cross from one county to another without realising it. So, for those of you that are watching, who are thinking, hang on, Tisbury, Dorset, that don't sound right. I made a mistake then. <laughs> Tisbury's in Wiltshire. So, yeah, it's a lovely place. As I was walking up the high street, one thing that really impressed me is there's a good selection of independent shops and there's quite a nice little variety of independent shops as well uh, loads of cars parked up on the side of the street loads of cars going up and down so I couldn't really get a proper video of the high street too many cars in the way so I couldn't really show off the good selection of independent shops in all its glory so which is a bit of a shame because quite impressive how many independents there are I mean, loads of places you go to, it's just chain stores. It seems to be nothing but chain stores. Oh, midday. Uh, the old bell's ringing. So I uh, just let them ring. That was quite nice to get the chimes in. Yeah, so unfortunately I couldn't really get any good quality recordings of the high street, so. But yeah, it's some, some good independent shops here in, in Tisbury. Very nice. But anyway, this is just a bit of a short, sweet video. Hope you've enjoyed. I've done the best I can to show off some of the highlights of Tisbury, but yeah, it's a nice little place for a little stop and a look around. So definitely, yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed, guys. And yeah, the usual, thumbs up if you liked it and comment if you want to and all the rest. And yeah, I'm hopefully going to be getting some more videos done. I've got some plans for tomorrow. So hopefully there'll be some other videos coming out soon, guys. And in the meantime, the usual, stay safe, take care and God bless. Bye.